What's going on, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you're doing all right. Hear about your sales, what's been going on. We're going to go over the second. Oh, we're going to go over the second box of liquidation that I received. And uh, go from there. Let's hear what everyone else is doing. How many listings you get up? How many items you sell? John Nevermore Antiques, you are first. How's it going? Rod Win by doing. Good to see you. Color swatches from the Caribbean. Awesome. We're in the Caribbean, are you at? Red Neckerson, how's it going? Flipping particles. Justin, what's going on? Today was an okay day. It's been, um, it ended up better than it started. Let's put it that way. Roslyn, hey, Marie, what's going on? Amazon FBA has started ramping up. I say ramping up in the fact that I've had two sold items today. Not many, but a few. Two books, two books from the bins. So I'll take two books from the bins. Hey, Vicky, Darren, what's going on? Star City, what's up? Sales have been good for Red Neckerson. Nice. Oh, no, you left a FedEx package at the post office. Did you drop it off? I dropped off FedEx one time by accident, actually put it in the slot, and it happened fine. I think they're, uh, don't quote me, one of their services picks up from um the post office i believe is it smart post or that's a home delivery i always forget which one hey john what's going on so hopefully if you dropped it off in the slot you should be okay is my guess junk trader how's it going left it at the counter i'm sure you're okay i'm sure they just wouldn't throw it away or if anything they deliver it back to your house so i think you'd be fine hey pac-man what's going on uh, so yeah, two sales today on Amazon. I did drop my FBA boxes off, dropped, uh, left three of them off. I did source today some more thrift stores. I picked up a VCR, which that's going to go into FBA. Uh, I picked up two polo shirts and a bunch of hats. So maybe this week I'll show you that pickup. Otherwise, uh, we're waiting on my pallet of shoes to come in. And I'm going to try and get through a lot of my thrift stuff. I have not showed you. I do want feedback though on the thrift store videos and the bin video that I put out with my cheapo glasses. I know I'm trying to keep my head as still as possible, but I would like your feedback. Uh, if there's something different you want to see or something better I could do, let me know. Kyle, what's going on? The bulk lot ended up awesome that you looked at. Kyle, I'm glad that worked out for you. Uh, bulk's definitely something I'd want to look at. I have not found something that personally that interested me yet. Uh, sometimes you can catch them on a great deal with shipping or uh, combinations of stuff. But, yeah, that stuff works great. Got your comment on the book app. Oh, yeah, so I did get a couple of comments. I left it upstairs. I left the scanner upstairs. But uh, I used Scout IQ. And uh, what was interesting was someone today left me a comment on my, I think it was my bins video, that uh, – they just grab every book from 1969, I guess, and throw it in the cart and then check it afterwards. I scan each one individually because I don't want to double touch it. So uh, scanning each one and then allows me to uh, keep what I need and leave what I don't need. And it dings in my earbuds. I put earbuds in. I put my app in my pocket. It connects Bluetooth on the wireless Bluetooth scanner. And then it'll ding at you when you pull the book out. So, hey, Mike, what's going on? The crazy card. Mike, uh, did you pick up any of that jewelry? So follow, uh, head over and follow the crazy card. Instagram, he has some awesome stuff he picks up. Uh, as well as Flippin' Particles. They have a daily show at noon. Head over there and catch them out. I did sell a pair of Tom boots today. It was just probably an hour ago. $70, $73? They're actually my wife. She wore them a couple times. She didn't like them. So sold them for $73. I did hold out on them. Thanks, Reseller King. I definitely will. I did do some more at the thrift store today. So I'm trying to do it so it's just not you guys seeing me walk through the aisle. And I'm trying to actually show you what I pick up and what I leave. Just Priest, the barcode scanner, it's called a KDC 200. Uh, I think I got mine. It was anywhere between $150 and $180 on eBay. Uh, what to look for in those, and this is just from um, what I hear others say. Make sure it has a brand new battery in it. 
uh, or you can get it for a better price just because uh, you want to be able to get a brand new. The batteries, I think, are kind of expensive. If you can get a brand new battery between 150 and 180 with the unit, you should be fine. Hickory Springs did their first retail arbitrage. Would love to see what you got. Oh, yeah. So I forgot to do this in the last couple of videos. If you guys aren't part of the Facebook group, head over there. Uh, you can ask questions uh, instead of waiting for the live show, even though I do appreciate you guys coming to the live show. But uh, I do happen to answer a lot of questions through the Facebook group. So, And plus, I love seeing pictures of what you guys get. Excuse me. Aaron, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Listed 30 items today. That's awesome. Uh, I did get an update from my hat supplier. So I think I have, was it, I think it's over 50 hats coming. Over 50, under 100. I forget how many I ordered. They're supposed to call me and verify payment method. So finally that's coming. It's coming from Georgia. So that's a new hat supplier I've not dealt with, but we'll, uh, We'll uh, let you know when I get that, how I got it, etc. Got a little dizzy when you did the click, quick glances. Yeah, I'm trying to cut those out, Marie. Sorry about that. Rusty Raccoon, how's it going? Fresher here. Fresher is in weather? I'm sure the Caribbean is a lot better. Yeah, KDC is pretty good. And I don't use – so I use Scout IQ. To get Scout IQ to work, you need to connect your Amazon account to Scout IQ. And you have to do it online with your, I think it's MWS. Uh, I think Josh Darnell actually posted in the group. But to, to get those to connect, you need to have a professional account. You can pair them up. I personally use the live version, and I think it's $14 a month. Uh, and basically, it connects through the internet. If you go to places that do does not have the internet, I think it's $45 a month. Don't quote me on that price to get the database price, which you do not need internet to get to work. And Vicky confirmed the battery is $29. So yeah, 30 bucks for a brand new battery. Two sales, coolest cat. Coolest cat, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Two sales, $75 and $50. Awesome. A lot of listing. Yeah, get stuff up, guys. Get stuff up. You have a more uh, probability of getting stuff sold. Scott, stop. Stop uh, pinching my micro cassette recorders. I uh, I sent a bunch into FBA. So uh, also for those of you that are brand new, I snipe off eBay and I send into Amazon. SMG would love to see your liquidation.com. Oh, source in paradise. I have, I think I sourced probably a good 20 to 25. I have another 30 over there. I'm probably going to put them all together. It's going to be a 50 plus ties. So if you think about which is nice is you get ties next for nothing at the outlets. If you can lock them up and sell them for 50 cents, a dollar a piece, you're easily ahead. I only spent $25 with all the books I bought. I should have gotten a picture, but I didn't. I bought all the books, sent those into FBA. Reseller King, have you seen the new eBay updates? I've heard about it. Basically, the big thing is uh, I've not read it. The only thing I've heard through uh, second hand is they're removing 30 day and replacing it with good till canceled, which I'm okay with. All my stuff's good till canceled anyway. I don't want to retouch it. If I see that it's in my inventory for a while, I go in and edit it anyway. So I love good till canceled. <laughs> what I miss here. Philip and Particles have a, has a bunch of Oakley hats. Haven't thought they'd sell haven't sold one. What uh, would you sell them at? Uh, or what do you have them listed at? I'm sorry, the Oakley hats. Oh, your fresher isn't just starting out. Color swatches. So yes, uh, liquidations. If you have any questions, let me know. But this is, uh, this is my second box. This is electronics. Now we saw the first half of this box had uh, some office products in there. What did I pay for? Oh, the ties or some paradise. It was by weight. So at the Goodwill outlets, I paid $1.59 a pound. So a tie doesn't weigh much. But Darren, yeah, sports hats. They're uh, I bought a they're not all sports. It's like half and half. Half sports, uh, half um Ford, Chevy, Dodge. I got a bunch of camo hats. So I'm gonna test those out. If they tend to do well on this hat purchaser, 
I'm going to buy more from them. But they're really slow. I don't know if they were just overloaded from the um, the vendor show. Till the hunt uses good till canceled. Yeah, good till canceled saves me a ton of times. I do not shell. I wish you guy. John, what do you mean, John? Looks like a typo. Uh, is it good to start with Amazon FBA when you become beginning to become a reseller? Josh, I would start on eBay. Uh, and you could start an FBA. You don't have to buy a professional account to start out. Uh, just watch a bunch of videos, ask questions. If you want to do FBA, Amazon or eBay is a little easier to get started on. I would start selling stuff around your house just to learn the platform. Diesel picked up some Napolos. Thanks to you. Awesome. Hopefully they work out. Hey, Alan, what's going on? Mar uh, Margo's in the chat. What's going on? Two and a half weeks ASD. That's right. So middle of August. Uh, last time I did a few videos from Vegas. I'm going to try and do a bunch more. Uh, Instagram live videos. We'll we'll uh, we'll bring some more videos for you guys. They signed you up for the phone. Nice, Darren. Awesome. Yeah. So we'll, and we'll do some more books from ASD as well. But let's get started with what you guys are here for. This is the second box. This one is also as of last night's box. This one's from Vegas as well. If you guys remember, uh, got some ink. Got some, uh, that's the item I look for, one of the big items I look for. Usually those items tend to carry a lot of other ancillary items that are great, that come in boxes that I learn of. Because uh, with every liquidation box, you get a random mishmash of the same type of category. Usually, sometimes they throw other stuff in there, which I'm all right with because I learn about other products that way. Plus they're filler. You don't want all your items, and this is a personal preference, I don't want all my items to be totally electronics because if every single item is an electronic and it could be broken because they are returns, I, I like them mixed up just because uh, the, hot, the probability of them working if they're different various types uh, is minimal, right? So I can sell... I can sell the state the automatic staplers those will sell I can sell the ink that'll sell and this is unopened um, so that sort of thing phones uh, I like it mixed up and that's what that's personal check out the manifest always look at the manifest and validate uh, the top couple items can you pick me up a book Alan yes I'll pick up a book so what we do guys also new to the channel uh, I will pick up ASD vendor books, and they're the same vendors that I talk to. I pick up business cards as well. If you guys have specific vendors you would like me to uh, get cards for, i.e., hey, I want a clothing supplier, I want a clothes supplier, let me know, and um, I will get those for you. And then we'll do some giveaways on the books. Last year, I think I got about seven. I'll try and get more this year. Usually, they have tons, and I'll mail them to you guys free of charge. We'll do giveaways we'll do um trivia and all that so we'll give those books away scott's gonna get some books also yeah we'll, we'll all get some books if you cross post to multiple platforms you need to diversify offered in liquidation or bulk oh so you're saying offering so if you're picking up multiple lots yeah you know you could buy from multiple sources is there an ASD in Chicago? Uh, D, I believe it's Ecom. I guess with one of the conferences, Ecom. I'm not sure though. I've heard that name, but the last one was in Chicago, right? Northeast suppliers would be nice, safe shipping. Yeah, that's the other thing. As you're starting to look at liquidation and closeouts and wholesale companies, take special notice of where they're located because you're going to pay for shipping. Uh, I've bought a couple lots from uh, Los Angeles. Shipping killed me. I made my money back and I profited a little bit, but a little harder than someone that existed in, say, Buffalo, New York. Completely spaced that it was 9 p.m. Yeah, it came quick. I was upstairs. I think I was watching a video and getting another video ready. Uh, Dontrell Oliver, thanks for joining. ASD is uh, what? The Afford Affordable Sourcing Direct? Is that the name of it? It's a, a vendor show in Vegas where you can get contacts for different suppliers to order product found a roots 2002 salt lake city olympics hockey leather jacket awesome that is awesome randy randy 
would love to see what that looks like. Those cool sort of sports things, those are invaluable. If you can find that sort of thing, it's awesome. Uh, no, you need different item categories that you receive in your lots. Yes, not everything will be electronics, which sell well across. Okay, which sell well across multiple platforms. That is true. So for these lots, I'm going to show you, this was office products and electronics. So those sell well, not only on eBay and Amazon, potentially. I do probably 2% of my liquidation to Amazon. They have to be pristine. Uh, the rest of it goes on eBay, and uh, they do really well locally. So if you get tools through liquidation, local tool sales are awesome. Sales, I should say. I need a resale for beginners. Dummies 101. Sarah, we're glad to help you out. Stick around. Ask as many questions as you want. We'll help you out. Scott brought, bought the Tabasco shirt. Yeah, so if you're in the Facebook group, Scott posted a thrifted Tabasco shirt. I think it was with tags, right? Double XL, awesome logos. I think that'll sell pretty, pretty well. All right, let's get this started on the road. Uh, to keep you around, there are some of the higher price items in this manifest. We did not see them all last night. So let's double check. I'll show you the inside of the box. And again, what's nice about these boxes is the way you see them in the picture is the way you get them 99% of the time. Uh, from liquidation.com uh, another caveat for your new viewers i stick to the source from amazon seller only uh, those are direct from liquidation.com those go from amazon buildings to liquidation.com buildings liquidation.com then takes those boxes opens them up goes through them and resource them to categories and that's what you get uh i do not i I do have a video or two of me buying from a not source from look or Amazon. I still did well on them. Just be careful because there are third party sellers on liquidation. So you still have to do your homework. Sourced. I'm fuzzy again. Oh no, I'm fuzzy. Crap. Hard dicks flipper. They picked up in Vegas yesterday, so I don't know when that pallet's gonna come. The one gentleman from Liquidation Pros got me interested in trying liquidations. Uh, Dan from Liquidation Pros, we're going to have another show Thursday. Thursday night, guys, we're going to have a liquidation uh, panel show. So stick around for Thursdays, 10 p.m. Eastern. All right, so here's what it looks like. There you go. Oh, just like you see it in the photos. Put this down here. We'll go through it pretty quickly. A uh, couple nice items in here. Phones. Always test the phones for po phones for power. Ecom Chicago is October 16th. There you go. That's when I was thinking of Chicago. Uh, Margo did third party and did well. Yeah. So just do your research. You know, uh, that's personal preference of mine. I like source from Amazon. Uh, you can do well with uh, third party as well. Uh, here's a. I've sold one of these before. I don't know if this brand does. I forget how uh, the Asus routers. Double check you have your antennas. They do all right. This box is opened. But these, they tend to be broken for me. Just test them. You can part out the microphones or save them for different lots. But these recons, don't base your recon or your lot on a recon item. Make sure you have other stuff in there. I can't say this. Uh, Sochi, Soch, I have no idea. It's a uh, cell phone holder, magnetic cell phone holder. If all the parts in there, that's a good $10, $15. I forget. I sold one before, so don't hold me to that price. Another Amazon Basics. So I've never seen this before, Amazon Basics. It has an Xbox One controller. See that Xbox One? It's wired, but look at the back. I have never seen that before. Amazon Basics makes an Xbox branded controller. 
that's a first. Have you ever parted out headphones, speakers, and ear pads? I've heard of people doing that, D. I have not done it. Uh, that's a lot of time invested for me. Uh, I'd rather just sell the whole unit broken. I think I know uh, Scott Liquidation King does. He parts them out. All right, here's the other item what I got it for. Nintendo Switch Pro Controllers. I test these for power. I've never had an issue. Just make sure when you put in your listing, either you put it a, a, um, a charging controller, it takes a USB-C. So test it for power, show that it charges, double check the buttons to make sure they press all right. I will test this with my Switch, but these sell incredibly well. So these two things are one of the main reasons why I bought this lot, those two items. So I'm gonna list those immediately. Fallout 76 PC game. This feels empty, so let's check it out. Ready? Let's see if this is in here. I'm very wary of buying games because a lot of times they're switched out. They're not there. Ooh. Look at this. So there's the game. There's the case, I should say. There's the inserts. And if you try to put that in your system oh wait there is a code on it there's a game code i'm old school i buy a computer game i get the disc this is uh game code only so i don't know if this has been used there's a code on the back i don't want to show you but uh i'll have to somehow check if that code has been re redeemed my guess is it has but i wouldn't sell it without check and see if the code works uh, these things I got I've gotten these before Usually I've actually have a video on fixing these so if you ever get these in your liquidation lot Lots usually it's uh, jammed and you need to loosen the spindle and it works I get so many people commenting on this video of how I've gotten them to, to Troubleshoot it and fix it uh, So don't throw them away if you can't get this to work because this, there's a fix for this Cases, I get a lot of iPad, cell phone cases. They do not sell, at least for me. You can lock them up and sell them locally. Uh, this is a uh, calendar book. Another phone. Phone sell, guys. Do not throw them away. Another Samsung wireless charging pad, which is cool. Check that out. Lights. You get random light bulbs. Usually, usually I just end up donating these. What else is in here? Cell phone, random cell phone case, life proof. Usually the uh, seals are all busted on them. Sony headphones, try these out. Again, headphones, be very careful of headphones just because shorted, missing pieces, broken. Uh, the connection piece could be uh, shorted. Even with the 10 by 8 by 6. Oh, with hats. You're talking about mail and hats. Most of the time, hats go. Uh, First class for me. I always put hats in a box, unless I'm missing the chat here. Yeah, Dan, text me later about a topic. We'll, we'll, we can start from uh, the basics of liquidation, work our way from there. Yeah, hats are awesome. Easy to ship. Uh, and I think, uh, was it 8 by 6 by 6 Yeah, those hats work well. So we said 10, 8 by 6 is big. Yeah, 10, eight, 10 by 8 by 6, a little bigger for the hats, but I tend to use those also because they fit my high brim trucker hats. Uh, and then the, the lower ones, 8 by 6 by 4, 8 by 6 by 6, are good for the non-trucker versions. Nice. Oh, Sue Ann, you had a, a 511 tactical hat? That's awesome. All right, what else did I get in here? Oh, these things are awesome. Oh, this is off branded. Oh, crap. This is a uh, lightning cord to uh, digital AV adapter. Uh, obviously, this is not the Apple version. If you get the Apple version, I get the Apple version a lot in these boxes. They sell really quickly. Another Amazon Basics wireless mouse. That's probably local. That's a garage sale item. 
TV ears. Oh, here's so wireless headset. This can go well. This brand, this is a bolo for the night, guys. TV ears. They make an analog version and a digital version. Uh, you this is kind of uh, looks like a replacement wireless headset. You can get the full box, which is the wireless receiver, the big headphones, and they have this as well with the charging base. Those sell, um, I think it's over 80 bucks, 75. I've not checked comps in a while, but uh, those are great. The replacement parts, even the battery, there's a battery that goes in there, a battery replacement. That sells. TV ears, liquid liquidation. Uh, I've had great success with uh, TV ears. And this one, I don't know what this one, contains one wireless headset. I do test this. If I hear static in there, usually it's okay, but it appears to be missing. Oh. It's missing one of the foam ear pieces. You can see right there. I could probably buy more or write to the company and ask if I can purchase uh, the foam set. Otherwise, I'll sell it missing one piece. You should be okay. Uh, Sarah says they can be used for movies. Yeah. So a lot of people with hearing difficulties, I could probably use them. Uh, use them for their TV or if you, uh, your significant other sleeping, you can wear them. But you obviously need the adapter indoor antenna last two things all right i think this is one of the the bigger items on the the lot another phone set so i have one two two of the same which is awesome that's one listing this is one of the bigger ones 50 uh 533 so that should do all right never seen this brand at all has anyone ever seen this brand PSB speakers. It does appear to be wired over the ear. Again, I'll test these out. It's gonna suck if they're shorted, but we'll see. So that was that was in the box. So I should get carried by a couple of my Nintendo switches. Otherwise, I'll be all right. Sarah says hearing impaired. I'm hearing impaired as well. 40% over here. Yeah, the movie captions, closed captions are not good. Don't blame you. All right, so that's all. That's all we had tonight, guys. Um, that's my liquidation box. Stay tuned. Shoes are coming. I need to get an update from my freight company. See where they're at. I'm gonna try and take some video of the pallet coming in, uh, and uh, when I get it, to let you guys know how it worked, how they double stacked it, how you can request shipping consolidation from, from liquidation, or as well as any other site, uh, and how to arrange your shipping. So. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you later. Get some more videos out there as well. Uh, get your listings up. Get some stuff uh, sold. Talk to you guys later. See ya.